Hey Capricorns, welcome to your love reading from today, July 15th to the 23rd for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So I hope my Cappies are doing good. I feel a lot better, guys. Oh man, I'm glad, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm glad I took yesterday for a self-care day because like, I, I, I just needed it. Like, I clearly just needed it. I feel like I've been brought back to life and I feel like my old normal self again. So it feels really good. Um, but Capricorns, let's focus on you. So in the meditative session... <laughs> You guys are feeling real fucking strong right now, okay? You guys are feeling almost like king of the hill, queen of the hill. Like, you've put on a lot of work on, on stuff. Um, definitely for um, any projects you've been trying to work on or anything career-wise, career, career -wise, you've been putting in a lot of hours, okay? Burning that midnight oil. And I think some of you definitely took the rest that you needed. Good. Good for you, Capricorns. It, I think it's definitely paid off for you. And another thing that I was picking up on that I thought was really interesting, I was getting a lot of challenge energy. But I felt like it was coming from you, Capricorns. I feel like, don't take this the wrong way, that maybe you've been feeling a little easily threatened by people. And I just mean that in the sense of you feel like people are challenging you unnecessarily. Whether they are or not, that's how you've been feeling about some things, um, about some ways that people have been approaching you or some ways that people have been talking to you, almost like trying to challenge your authority and challenge your standing and where you are in life and where you are in your success. And you're not having it either. <laughs> I feel like when that's happened for you in the recent past, you really kind of stomped it out, like stomped out that quick feisty fire as much as you possibly could if you felt like you were being challenged by anybody. Um, but I also feel like you have done a lot of things in an atypical way when it comes to the success that you're experiencing right now, whether the su success is in actual business or in your family or just in your self-growth, your self-empowerment. Um, you're not letting anyone take it from you. You're not letting anyone take it from you and you're not going to let anyone undermine you. But just be careful with that, Capricorn, because I feel like for some of you, you're getting a little triggered even if someone's not trying to be that way with you. Now, we are dealing with a lot of feisty energy, including Mercury retrograde. So people are kind of popping off at the mouth saying some stupid shit. Like <laughs> some people really are. And so you might actually be experiencing that legitimately. I know my words are like, well, you might be experiencing that legitimately, but some of you aren't. So just be mindful of that. Yes, you worked really hard, Capricorns. You have, and you have a lot to be proud of and a lot to celebrate for yourself. Um, your job's not done. It's also what I'm getting. You're feeling on top of the world. You're feeling on top of your shit, but you know that there's still some more work to do for you guys, especially in regards to your career or whatever success um, you've been trying to strive for. You've accomplished a lot, but it ain't done, okay? All right, so let's get into the pre-shuffle. So we have the moon, Piscean energy. It could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. Everyone's been getting this card because of the full moon energy that we're dealing with right now. And then we have, I thought this was interesting, we have Magician, Mercurial Energy, so Virgo Gemini, could also be Aquarius Scorpio, Divine Masculine Energy for me as a reader. Knight of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, could also be Earth or Fire. With the Six of Cups, Scorpionic Energy, which is also Past Life Karmic Soulmate Energy, I'm feeling a major nurturing, a major nurturing of things that just warm your heart, honestly. That's, that's the energy I'm getting with that Magician. Someone's really trying to, to build that, to build more of those things that like just are so warm and fuzzy, right? Things that make you happy, things that are very sweet to you, things that just make you go, oh, <laughs> right? I love that. I really like that. Capricorns, some of you, this is an energy heading your way and you don't see it coming. Okay, thank you. Yeah, okay, this is why they really want me to emphasize be careful with these triggers because someone is that you don't you don't recognize this. You're not recognizing this, that someone is trying to come towards you, Capricorn, to nurture that very sweet, yummy energy between the two of you. You might not perceive it that way. You might perceive it as a threat. So I'm just I'm just saying, you know, ground yourself a little bit more, maybe check yourself a little bit, okay? But then we have this energy. The Chariot in Reverse, Cancerian Energy with the Nine of Cups, Piscean Energy. Star in Reverse, Aquarian Energy with the Ace of Swords in Reverse. So right away, let's focus on these two cards, the Star and the Nine of Cups, the Minor to the Major. Now the Major is in Reverse, so the Minor is Upright, which tells me that in regards to wish fulfillment and making your dreams come true, which is the energy that you're in right now, you've already planted the seeds. You've already done a lot of the beginning work. Oh, why do I just want to focus? Here, let me take these cards out. You've already done a lot of the planting of the seeds, the beginning portions of it. You've already started the wheel in motion towards your dreams coming true. However, 
excuse me, you do have a star in reverse energy, which tells me you're not there. Like I said, your work is not done. Your work is not done towards whatever this dream coming true is for you. Now, on either sides of those cards, we have the Ace of Swords in reverse and the Chariot in reverse. There is something that's delaying, okay? There's something that's delaying you from reaching the total finish line for yourself. And I, it's funny because I feel like for some of you, you hit the finish line and then you wanted more. So then you made up a plan to get more. And so for those who are in that expansion phase, you're not quite done with your um, reaching your expansion on top of your dreams coming true. Capricorns, I love you. You guys are so amazing. Now, the Ace of Swords in reverse, it is attached to the star in reverse. There's something you're not seeing, especially that we have the moon here like this. There's something you're not seeing that's keeping you from it. For some of you, it is this person, this energy coming forward that's trying to nurture some very yummy, warm, fuzzy feelings between the two of you. This is interesting. Capricorns, I'm picking up on that some of you, whatever this dream coming true is, it is amazing. It is something you've wanted and it's something that's going to make you really happy. But I think for some of you that are trying to expand on your finish line, if you've already reached your finish line, that you're realizing it's great to have all of this. It's great to be where I am. I'm really happy. But I want to share it with someone. I want to share it with someone. And some of you, there is someone trying to come in who wants that with you, but you're not seeing it. You're not seeing it. And for some of you, there's actually no room, okay, <laughs> is also what I'm getting to where you've, you've made your life so full that there's not really room for an, another person to share it with. And some of you might be realizing that during this time with this full moon and Capricorn energy, okay? So just something to keep in mind with that. Definitely something to keep in mind with that, okay? All right, guys, let's get into the reading. For anybody who's new to tarot or still who has confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer, go ahead and check out the link below. Okay. I highly recommend you do because I've been getting a lot of questions about some basic stuff that I've gone over quite a bit and that um, and questions that can have, Jesus, <laughs> and answers to your questions that you can find in that video. Okay. Well, I don't know how I'm going to do the live tonight with my, with my speech all over the place like this. I'm going to get some water. Hmm. Okay. All right, Kathy, let's do this. Any messages for Capricorns regarding love from now until the 23rd? Any messages for Capricorns regarding love from now until the 23rd? Any messages for Capricorns regarding love from now until the 23rd? Any messages for Capricorns regarding love from now until the 23rd? Any messages for Capricorns regarding love from now until the 23rd? Okay, that looks good. You might be done with an Aries, or you could have that in your chart. They're, show they're actually showing me rams. They're not doing anything. They're just hanging out. But you might, I think that's just alluding to Aries energy. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could have that in your chart. Chiron is retrograde right now. Let's see. In Aries. Any messages for Capricorns? Ooh, five of cups. Scorpionic energy. So loss and grief. Oh boy. Loss and grief at the, t uh, uh, at the head of your reading. <laughs> I swear my words do not want to stay in my mouth. Let's see what else we get with this. What's interesting though, what's really interesting to me is that with this Five of Cups card, the illustration, I'm just being drawn to the two cups there on the back shelf. But she has two cups right there, right? That's usually the two of cups that's alluded to in the Five of Cups and the three, the spilled cups are here. This person, I feel like, is actually looking at the two of cups, but on the shelf, not the ones that she's carrying. That's really interesting. I'm I'm getting, like, two two of cups. Two two of cups. Capricorn, again, because it's always it's going to be vice versa, because it is energy. I think that you are probably dealing with someone who was dealing with two different soulmates at the same time. And they lost you in the process. They lost one in the process. Okay. Just so sick of not confusing you. Someone, you, or someone you're connected to, had two soulmate situations going on that they had a lot of emotion for. 
had a lot of emotion for, and they let one go, but they're still focused on the other one. I do feel like the other one's you that they're focused on, okay? But like I said, it's energy, so it could all be vice versa. And for some, this is a third party situation. That being said, any one of you could be this person out of the three of you. But that's what I'm getting with that. That just stood out really strong to me. And it's funny because I've never noticed those two of cups on that back shelf. She's holding two, and that usually and that's going along with the three of cups that spilled here, like a traditional five of cups. But I never noticed that two on the back shelf. And I feel like that's actually what the person's looking at. Not even the one that's in their grasp. They're not even looking at the two of cups that's in their grasp. It's the one that's further away. The one that there's more distance with. That's a clue. That's a clue. The one that, that there's more distance with. Any messages for Capricorn? Strength in reverse. Leo energy. So definitely a lack of confidence along with this sadness. A lack of confidence along with this sadness. Oh, Jesus. Someone's really insecure. Someone's really insecure and someone's also very depressed, okay? Um, whoever's in this Five of Cups energy who's focusing on not the Two of Cups in their grasp, but the Two of Cups that's further away, there's some depression going on with this person and some insecurities that are rising to the surface because there's so much in their feelings. Oh, that's flashing back to the Aries reading. That's flashing back to the Aries reading. Aries, you, Aries energy, the people, oh, Jesus in the Aries reading, I was picking up an Ari, Arian energy that was very much in the feels, oh, very much in their emotions, okay? That's definitely coming through for some of you here, okay? And it's just brought up a lot of insecurities for them because they're not used to emotions. Wow, okay, let's keep it going. Any messages for Capricorn? regarding love from now until the 23rd. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love from now until the 23rd? For some, uh, for some, this person, the two of cups that they're really focused on, the one that's further away, I'm also feeling there's another group here, like a subgroup within this energy where they're holding on to the past, like someone who's like not even around anymore. And that has actually been holding them up in relationships, been holding them up from grasping the two of cups that's actually in their grasp. Does that make sense? So two different, two different uh, groups going on here. One where there's, there was a third party situation of some sort and someone is, is now really focused on the two of cups that's really out of their grasp instead of the one that's in their grasp because that's the one they, they lost, the one that, that they really want, they might have made a mistake. I'm also picking up on a group where this person's been really, really held back in relationships and emotions because they've been too focused on ba past baggage to really appreciate love in the present. Okay. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love from now until the 23rd? Wow, two of wands in reverse, Aries energy with the world, fixed energy, so Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, Trolls, Capricorn. There is a decision that's sparking a whole new cycle here, Capricorn, definitely, a decision that's sparking a whole new cycle. It feels like a really solid decision, too. Um, take off. Take off. Maybe you're traveling. <laughs> Maybe you're going to be getting on a plane. The world is also indicative of travel, specifically international travel. But there's a decision that I'm almost getting like a domino effect. It's just making everything fall into place. But I feel like it took a while to make this decision, whether it was them or you. Okay. Any other messages for Capricorn regarding love from now until the 23rd? Any messages for Capricorn regarding love from now until the 23rd? Oh, come on. Okay. Two other cards. Let's see what we have here. And there's the delay. Five of Wands, Leo energy, and the star in reverse, Aquarian energy. <sighs> Capricorns, that's funny, I almost called you Cancers. <laughs> Maybe you got Cancer in your chart. Uh, Capricorns, whatever's been keeping you from your full dreams coming true is a Five of Wands energy, some conflict. Some conflict here, okay? That's really what's been holding you up. Whether it's inner conflict and you don't want to admit it, because I am feeling that a little bit, Capricorns. Um, oh, and it's also this trigger. Okay of exerting authority, feeling challenged in your authority, 
don't don't let don't get caught up in that Capricorns. Don't get caught up in people trying to get you off your track or trying to get you unfocused here because that's definitely what I was picking up on with that like feeling like people are challenging you people are trying to exert authority over you that's that five of wands don't engage them just don't engage them honestly if you can get if you can get around it or away from it if they have no effect on what's going on in your life or they have no say so of what's going on in your life let them mouth off leave them be so that you can keep focusing on getting to your star okay a star upright not in reverse it's delayed because of that it is delayed because of the energy I was picking up on in the meditative session. Be very mindful of that, Capricorns. Don't let other people drag you down just because they can't meet you at your level, okay? Overall energy, we do have justice in reverse Libra energy. Oh, so there's been an injustice that needs to be righted here, and I am feeling like it's attached to this person. Whether this is you or the other person, this could definitely be you, Capricorns. You got to decide what res energy is resonating with you, okay? Because this is a general reading for a lot of people. Mm. But yeah, a major, a major wrong needs to be righted here. A major wrong needs to be righted. And I don't feel like it's this energy. I don't feel like it's this. This is an energy you got to be aware of for yourself. It, it's definitely keeping you from your full wish fulfillment. And whatever decisions you're making, it's definitely leading to a whole new cycle and making everything fall into place. But yeah, this injustice, I definitely feel like it's attached to this. I definitely feel like it's attached to that. Underneath Justice in Reverse, we do have Empress in Reverse. Libra energy, Taurus energy, Divine Feminine energy. Someone who is trying to grow but can't really grow anymore, but someone who already has had a lot of growth behind them. I do feel like this is your energy, Capricorn. Again, that delay. Careful with that delay. Careful with that delay. But someone knows that they wronged you. Someone knows they wronged you. Mm. And I think you've done a good job at just trying to not let it bother you. But deep down it does. Deep down it does. There hasn't been closure, Capricorn. There hasn't been closure of whatever was done to you. And I do feel like it's in regards to this person. Okay? It is in regards to this person. And this full moon and Capricorn energy, I think, is going to help you get over this hurdle a little bit. Because that door needs to be closed. That closure needs to happen. Okay, one way or another. And that closure is leading to making a solid decision. All right. Let's unpack this a little bit more. I'm really curious about the Five of Cups energy. So let's look at that a little closer. I'm going to use Rider Wait to clarify. Tell me about Five of Cups. Let's see what this injustice is about. <laughs> Sorry, they're bringing me back to this. They're bringing me back to this. Um... Because you haven't gotten closure from this, that's why you're so easily triggered from this, okay? Because it's still a wound that needs healing, Capricorn. Whatever this person did to you, when people step to you, you feel easily challenged because it's still a wound and it's still a trigger. So maybe this person didn't believe in you, Capricorn. Maybe they didn't believe in you. Maybe they didn't trust you. Maybe they felt like they needed to have the control between the two of you. And overall, it's an injustice for you because it's keep, it is overall keeping you from your full wish fulfillment because you're letting this trigger happen because you haven't healed fully from whatever this person did to you. Okay, tell me about this Five of Cups. Tell me about this Five of Cups. <laughs> the Moon, Piscean energy could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. I'm actually getting a hell of a lot of emotion here and some secrets, secrets. Whatever this person did, you don't have the full story. You don't have the full understanding. There's so, still some stuff hidden here, but this person's in a very, very deep dive of their emotions, okay? For some, it could even be a little bit of a dark night of the soul. Tell me about Five of Cups. And Capricorns, you could be feeling that a little bit. If you're not going through a dark night of the soul yourself, because I guess this could be vice versa, you're definitely feeling what they're feeling a little bit. So some of you might have like little spurts of that like mood swings or you might like be good all day and then all of a sudden you get hit with like this kind of down energy why am i getting drinking i've been getting that theme for a couple people today um yeah like if, okay for example if you know that this person kind of in their depressive state likes to drink and you're not really a drinker and all of a sudden you're like why do i want to drink <laughs> Why do I feel like I need a cocktail? Why do I feel like I need a beer? Why do I feel like I just got to sit here in a bubble and not talk to anybody? You're feeling what they're going through, okay? If you're not going through it yourself. Tell me about Five of Cups. 
Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy. Seven of Pentacles for me as a reader is like a blueprint card. It's being on the right path. And in reverse, it's not, not being on the right path, not investing time wisely. Not investing time wisely. Uh, this person definitely knows they made a mistake and they know they've wasted their time. And I feel like this is someone who really doesn't like to waste time. I think that's also why it's getting them down a little bit more. They wasted their time. Whatever, whatever they did, it was a waste of time. Oh, focus. And they're keeping that from you. They're keeping that information from you that they, they know that they fucked up. They haven't told you that. They haven't told you that they know. Talking about five of cups. Talking about five of cups for Capricorn regarding love from now until the 23rd. Talking about five of cups for Capricorn. Oh man. Talking about five of cups for Capricorn. I'm kind of feeling for this person. They're not, oh yeah, Jesus. They're not in a good place. Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. King of Wands in reverse, Leo energy could also be fire or air, pushed you away. So I just heard that. They pushed you away. Five of Cups, uh, Scorpionic energy. Overall energy for the Five of Cups, High Priestess. Piscean energy could also be Gemini for me as a reader. Wow. Capricorns, whatever Capricorn energy I'm tapped into, whoever is the Empress in this, if it is vice versa, right? So keep that again, keep that in mind. Um, whoever the Empress is in this, they're very intuitive. I do feel like it's you, Capricorns. Very, very, very intuitive. Um, and I'm also getting a very spiritual kind of connection here, which I think is why you're picking up on their depression and a little bit of their dark night of the soul if they're going through that. Now with this energy, the Nine of Pentacles in a verse, King of Wands in a verse, and the Five of Cups, I'm feeling like this was the relationship you two had, whether it was business or love or otherwise, it does feel romantic though. Um, where they were very controlling, King of Wands in reverse, that's what I'm getting straight out the gate, very, very controlling energy, very possessive, frantically possessive, I don't know what that's about, frantically possessive, but possessive nonetheless, while Capricorn, you were more of a Nine of Pentacles in reverse energy, you felt committed to them, you were loyal to them, but you didn't feel like it was a stable connection, you didn't feel like they were really in it for you, you felt like they were in it for them, is kind of how you felt. I also have this energy of yeah, they tried it. Yeah, okay, this is why it's such a trigger for you. They tried to exert control over you. They try to exert, exert control over you, which is why people stepping to you is such a trigger right now. Because you're not going to let anyone control you the way this person tried to. Yeah, very clear. Very, very clear. And this energy of less than, they try. I don't think they tried to make you feel less than, but it was hard to not feel less than based on the way they treated you. And they know they did that. They know they did that, which is why we have that Five of Cups. Please focus. Which is why we have that Five of Cups accompanying it. They really regret it. They really regret it, Capricorns. They're like, damn, why did I <laughs> why did I have to be that way? Why did I have to try to exert so much power and so much control? Because they got their own issues too, Capricorn. And they got their own um, triggers that they got to deal with, okay? Of their own insecurities. And it was insecure-based. It was based in their insecurities. It was based in their ego. They know they were wrong and they regret it. And now because of how they treated you and the, and the way they try to exert authority and control over you, it's now a trigger for you when people try to approach you and in your endeavor to reach your full success. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's keep it moving. Let's look at this energy, that decision. Even though it took a while to make this decision, whatever this decision, decision, Jesus, decision is... Uh, it's opening up a whole new cycle, a whole new cycle here, Capricorn, and something that's very promising too is what I'm getting. Come back. Promising. Something that's very, very promising. So let's look at the world. Fill in Alice. Let's do Alice. Time about the world for Capricorn regarding love from now until the 23rd. Tell me about the world. For Capricorn, turn up the world for Capricorn regarding love from now until the 23rd. Yeah, closure needs to happen here so you can get rid of that trigger and heal that. Um, and so they can also get out of their depressive state. Closure needs to happen for both of you, both of you here. Turn up the world for Capricorn 
regarding love from now until the 23rd. Tell me about the world. <laughs> Hold on a second, guys. There we go. <laughs> Page of Swords, okay? Page of Swords. There's some truth here. Communi yeah, communication of truth. Hearing them out, hearing the truth. It's very sincere truth that's coming in, but I feel like it's being allowed in. I don't know what that's about, but I feel like it's being allowed in. Oh, on your end, because of your trigger. Because of your trigger. Um, if you can learn to heal this trigger on your own enough to hear them out and to hear the truth, I think it's going to really be... Um, very promising for you. I think it's going to, yeah, it's going to be very healing for you. It's going to be very healing for you and it's going to start moving things in the right direction for both of you, whether you guys want to stick it out together or not. You know, it's just about getting the closure. Tell me about the world. <laughs> page of Wands. Now we have a Page of Swords and a Page of Wands. Yeah, this is definitely communication coming to you, Capricorn, and I do feel like it's from this person, okay? I feel like they're the ones making the decision to have a conversation with you and you're making the choice to listen. It's going to be hard for you, Capricorn. I'm not going to lie because I can feel you being like, <clears throat> like tensed up a little bit, <laughs> like on edge, just waiting for them to say the wrong thing. <laughs> be mindful, okay? Be mindful of that. Tell me about the world for Capricorn regarding love from now until the 23rd. Tell me about the world for Capricorn regarding love from now until the 23rd okay let's see what we have here wow three of pentacles capricorn energy and then there's that justice justice in reverse libra energy some of you are definitely finding out about third party some of you are definitely finding out about it mm. i'm also getting like teamwork effort here like partnership effort discussions Discussions that were had, Capricorn, you feel lied to. You feel very much lied to in whatever discussions you already had in the past with this person. Yeah. Before they caused this pain, this wound for you. I think you guys were, were working out a lot of stuff together. As far as like making plans, maybe in business, maybe even in love too. Either way, there was a lot of discussions. Discussions are coming really to the forefront here. And you feel like they lied to you about it. Like they just, like they were just spewing words. Which is why you feel like it's an injustice. I do feel like they want another go at doing it right, but um, I'm feeling your your energy on that. And you're like, mm, yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, Cappies, yeah, you're like, yeah, I don't know. Mm, I do not know about doing that. Overall energy, we do have five of cups in reverse. I love that it's in reverse here. Scorpionic energy, which tells me that this depressive energy that they've been carrying around is being dis is dissipating. It's dissipating, okay? You're giving them closure and they're giving you closure. And that's exactly what needs to happen. Underneath that, look, the star, Aquarian energy, and the wheel of fortune, Jupiter energy. Things moving in the right direction, heading towards um, healing, heading towards destiny here. You're heading towards your destiny and they're getting out of their depressive state and they're getting healing and you're getting healing in the process as well. Things moving in the right direction. Yeah, this is a conversation that has to happen, Capricorn. Some of you really don't want to accept that. I can feel it. Some of you really don't want to accept that. But Capricorns, it's also about checking yourself and your triggers, right? And your triggers. The reason we get triggered is because we get we have healing to do. That's why we get triggered. It's because there's healing that's needed. This person caused a wound for you. It's created a bit of a trigger. This is an opportunity to heal that. And it's also an opportunity for them to get out of their own depression, okay? And especially to really accept and heal from their own regrets of how they treated you in the first place, okay? For some, I do feel like this is also between um, a father figure, between you and a father figure, but that King of Wands that's like screaming it at me, King of Wands is usually seen as a father. Father, or it could be like a patriarchal kind of energy. Um, yeah, for some of you, this is between you and a parent, but for most of you, this is romance, okay? So let's get some advice. Any advice for my Capricorns regarding the spread? 
Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns? God, these cards do not want to stay in my hand. <laughs> Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? <laughs> Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? 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 Let's see what we have here. We have mouse spirit. Tend to the small things with the energy of 40, breaking down to a four. It's about foundations and stability. Ooh, vulture spirit. Nothing is wasted. 63, breaking down to a nine. Completions. Ooh, I just heard devour. Devour. Devouring this mouse energy. Okay, we're going to get to that. There's something big going on there. And then we have crow spirit. Co-create with spirit. 17, breaking down to an eight, leading to success and prosperity. devouring Ooh, why do i not like that i guess it just makes me a little uncomfortable it feels positive but it just makes me a little uncomfortable here um and it's funny i'm being drawn to that crown on top of the vulture's head remember i was like king of the hill queen of the hill there's something about you that's very tempted to devour this person okay please don't <laughs> don't do it that anger that you're feeling that anger that frustration the wound the triggers it's pushing you into an energy of like, I'm just going to rip your face off. You know, it's pushing you in that kind of energy. That's why your trigger, it feels so intense when people step to you and you feel challenged. You feel like it's bringing you back to that kind of relationship um, or that kind of partnership you had with this person. And there is a sense of devouring the pain to heal it and to move past it, but a controlled kind of devouring. Like, don't just rip anyone's face off just because you're triggered. Don't do that, <laughs> right? Don't do that. Um, but definitely start to eat away at those little things, right? The little things that trigger you, the little things that are nagging you um, when people step to you because it's all regarding this person, okay? It's all regarding this person and to do it in small steps, to do it in baby steps. If you really look at yourself, Capricorn, you'll be able to see it within yourself and within your actions as to where this, this wounding lies because it's almost like it's in... How do I say this? It's not blatantly obvious right away to you because it, it feels like it's like little glimmers seep through. It's probably the best way to say that. Little glimmers of this wounding from this person seeps through and it's time to devour that. Basically, devour the, the, the mice, the pests in your house, okay? In your spiritual house, in your mental house that this person left behind, okay? And if you do this in a manifestation energy with spirit and you ask for help and you lean on your guides, they, they'll help you through this. They will. They'll help you through it. Let's see what else we get. Any other advice for Capricorns? Any other advice for Capricorns regarding this spread? Any other advice for Capricorns regarding this spread? Any other advice for Capricorns regarding this spread? Okay, let's see what we got here. We got two other cards. Oh, oh man, I love it. Horse spirit, freedom is yours. 33, it's a master number and dolphin spirit, this and that are true. 20 breaking down to a two. There's two sides to every story. That's literally what I just heard. Especially with that dolphin spirit, there are two sides to every story. You want to have true freedom from this? You don't want to have these triggers anymore. You don't want to have these little, you know, wounded mice running around in your, your spiritual house, your emotional house. It's time to accept that there's two sides to every... No, actually, I guess technically there's three, right? There's their story, your story, and then there's something in between that's really closer to the truth, right? This and that are true. Aspects of both of your stories are, are accurate, but also aspects of both your stories are not accurate. And accepting that is going to lead you to being a hell of a lot more free and to putting all of this behind you. Both of you need this. Both of you need to accept that. They know they're wrong. But Capricorns, keep in mind that sometimes it does take two to tango, right? I know that's like, I know that sucks to hear because some of you really don't want to hear that. But I'm sorry. I'm just the messenger. I'm just, I'm going to give you the truth. 
And it's not going to be easy because it is going to take some siphoning through of yourself and looking at yourself and not just in the very oblivious, like not in the very um, obvious way, but in the very like minute aspects of yourself, right? That's where these little woundings lie from this person. And there's their story, there's your story, and there's the truth in between. Once you both accept it and talk about it, you're both going to be so free, okay? Overall energy, we do have Dragonfly Spirit. Truth transcends illusion. Another master number, 33 and a 22 here. Dragonfly is very intuitive energy. It's a lot of third eye energy. And we do have the High Priestess here in Capricorns. I was feeling that from your energy, the Empress energy. If you're not the Empress, and this reading is vice versa for you, okay? Um, your intuition is really on point. Don't ignore what your intuition is telling you about this. Because I feel like your intuition, along with your guides, are really trying to get you to see the reality of the situation regarding your trigger and regarding this person, okay? It's time to devour the pests in your house, all right? And accept that there's truth from their story and from your story and that no one, not everyone is completely innocent in this. I know, don't hate me, I know. And by the way, this is not for everybody, for everyone, who, for the people who like to comment of, oh, so you're telling me that drunk bastard, da, 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 da. It's not for everyone, okay? It's not for everyone, all right? So just know that. Okay, Capricorns, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out, along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later, okay? Bye, Cappies. Namaste.